Well, 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 Madam President, to what do we owe this emergency circumstance meeting? <laughs> My dear Vice President Rassilon, I do not think that you will be smiling so smugly so very much longer. You have charges against me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I do. Well, then, out with it. Susan, please. Thank you, dear Susan. My fellow Gallifreyans, do you know what this is? This is the key of time, a weapon most formidable that is capable of total domination and annihilation. And do you know where Susan and I found this? In the office of one Vice President Rassilon. Possession of this key of time is a crime that is punishable to the extreme. I move that we jail Rassilon awaiting trial. Madam President, your flair for the dramatic is impressive, but I feel like I'm guaranteed the right to defend myself. I am not in possession of any key of any time or any place. You are. What does say you, my people? Are you to be taken in by the dramatic accusations of this woman? What has she done for you in the time that she has taken office? Has she dazzled you all with smoke and mirrors and fanfare? Like she's doing now with even more fanfare, accusing me of a crime of which she alone is guilty. No, it is my humble opinion that her mental state is now in question, and an emergency council should be called to examine the matter. To that end, I am assuming the position of Gallifreyan President. Arrest this woman. Oh! Oh! Susan! Susan, Susan. whatever you have to do, just do it. Help me. I will. I promise I won't give up on you, my friend. the Time Lord I need. Oh, really? Well, I knew I needed a Time Lord to show up, and here you are, so you must be the Time Lord I need. <laughs> I like your style, Doc. So, uh, where are all those humans that are always running around with you? Uh, my companions? Yeah. Oh, none to speak of right now. I'm sort of giving myself some much-needed me time. Ah, so you're all alone. There's no one here beside you. Uh, well, I guess I am the Time Lord, so, uh, where's the fun? Well, I've received communication, which leads me to believe that the fate of the universe as we know it is in terrible danger. Yarn! Isn't that always happening with you? Yes, well, this time it involves Gallifrey. Gallifrey? In trouble. Indeed. Power so insidious, so full of corruption, that every single atom of every single living being it comes across will be completely and utterly changed. So we're doomed then. Not if I can stop it before it starts. And I intend to. Tell me, fool, what do you recall of our studies on Gallifrey? Oh, well, enough of what I copied off of you and Romana. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Ever remember reading anything about the Sconan Empire? Scone. Not Scone. Oh, uh, uh, Sconos, right? Like that planet that was in a civil war with another planet in its own galaxy? Anitha, yes. Yeah, they worshipped some kind of god or religion or something. I never really saw the point of it. Right you are. They worshipped the Nemon people. They believed them to be of the gods. They even had direct communication with a figure known only as Lord Nemon. Yeah, so what about it? 
I didn't come here for a history lesson, did I? I mean, please don't tell me there's going to be an exam, because I don't have Romana to cheat off of. The people of Nimon and the planet Skonos had one thing in common. They both craved power. Absolute power. To the point where it drove them mad. It drove them beyond the point of reason, of logic, of emotion itself. You see, both sides had suffered heavy losses on their own planets. Such loss and pain is inevitable. A living being can choose how to react to that pain. In the case of the Nemon and Skonos, the choice was clear. They would use that pain as fuel for their hunger, for power, for control, to ensure that no such loss would ever touch them ever again. Except that... That... Except that they lost anyway. Yeah. By succumbing to their own need for power, they lost. Yes, but I, it's a I, bit more I get complicated. It. I mean, thanks again for the history and morality lesson, Doc. All right. Now, can we get on with the fighting, please? All right, so, what is that? It's my Sonic. It's an ordinary pen. Sonic pen is mightier than the sword, Doc. You'd be surprised what this thing can do. All right. You do you. Well, anyway, the point is, I beat them once. Or at least, I thought I did, back when I was traveling with Ramon. Ooh. Anyway, we <laughs> beat them. That's it. Okay, sure. Let's it, go, Vamanos. I like the sound of that. It's me, Ramona. Ramona. Oh, all right. It's Fred. It's been a while, hasn't it? Anyway, I've discovered something, and I'm going to have to go on a mission. Going to hiding. No time for small talk. I'm going to come out and say it. Rassilon has found the key of time, and he's reassembled it. I've had it scattered once again. My companion helped me. No companion! Look, Doctor. I'm going to have to go into hiding. I know that we can figure this out and resolve it once and for all. Uh, actually, this is, uh, this is the Fool. Hello! Remember me? <laughs> ah, the Fool. Huh. I... you used to copy off of me at, at uni. You must be with the doctor if you answered his phone. Is he close by? Uh, he just ran off, actually. Some business is about chasing after Nimrod or, or Nimoy... Nimon? Nimon, that was it. Uh, then he knows. Ramada, I think I hear someone coming. Okay. Fool. Please tell the doctor that I've sent a message to his psychic paper. He will know exactly what to do once, once he reads it. He will know exactly where to find me. Find you? Like I said, I'm going to the hiding for a while. I've sent the coordinates to his psychic paper. Romana! Fool. Don't fail us now. No pressure or nothing. Still not back yet, huh, dude? <sighs> you know, Doc, you remind me of this guy I found on Earth once. Uh, crazy old guy, thought he was some kind of knight. Always running off, fighting windmills. <laughs> uh, he had a book written about him, though, so, you know. The title was his name, I think. Anyway. 
Okay. Okay, okay. Fool, I've got a lead. Come on now. You. Come on, old buddy, come on! No regenerating this time, come on! We've still got so much left to do! Come on, I need you! Come on, fool, I need you! What's that, doctor? You say you need me? I do declare! <laughs> oh, well, isn't that just the grandest thing ever? Uh, well... Uh, well... Isn't that just the greatest thing ever? Well, <clears throat> I best be off. Off? Where? Well, I have my journey, you have yours. Vamanos! <laughs> Vamanos. I rather uh, like the sound of that. I summon the TARDIS! Yeah, that's not how the Sonic really works. And anyway, your um, TARDIS is right there. Oh! Huh, right where I left it. Nice, nice. You know, maybe you should cut back on the mucking about. Uh, well, you know, that uh, actually uh, reminds me. Um, you know how I got this body? Uh, there, was this, uh, there was this guy that I met back in uh, back on Earth. Um, Kenmuth is his name. He was a pretty good guy. We, uh, we hung out for a while. Uh, he was from the year 3000 and something. I, I think... Um, Anyway, uh, we we used to travel a lot. You know, we had a, we had a we had a lot of fun. Oh man! So, but uh, I guess one too many trips with me uh, kind of scared him straight. He um, ne next time I saw him, he settled down and it was nice. He had a he had a wife and kids. It was, I mean, he seemed he seemed pretty happy. And. Uh, so I, I left him there, and uh, a little while later I went to check back on him, and uh, I guess he had, uh, I guess he bit the big one. Um, he was, uh, he was, there was this swarm he was fighting. Um, it was this, uh, there was this really, really cute officer who told me about it. Uh, it was a Gaiman, Gaiman, I think her name was. I, I, uh, she, uh, she said something about a doctor being there. Is that, is that you? We haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I guess uh, uh, the next time I regenerated, I I, I took his body. It, you know, I guess I figured if I if I couldn't take him to Planet X like we had talked about, you know, I could at least this is the least I could do. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but I guess, I guess that's something for you to look forward to. <laughs> it's, I, it's, you know, you seem to really get off on that stuff, you know. We, we, we all have our vices. I have the endless party of the universe, and you have saving the planet from evil. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> Take care, Doc. Vamanos. Vamanos. Psychic paper's gone! Ow! See, it can't be! The creature must have grabbed my psychic paper. Yes! Oh! He ran off! But he hasn't gone far, no! Not far at all! Ha <laughs> ha! With my Sonic I can track him, and with you! Yes, you, my beautiful blue strudel! Oh, you've always taken me where I needed to go! Ha <laughs> ha! Right then. Ominous.
O oh, great oracle, I come to you in my hour of need. First, new identity, a new place to reside, to hide for a time and, and to live. Romana de Vortalunda. Ah, Romana, so it is. And with you must be the time lady, Susan. Y yes. Romana, 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 Romana. Yes, yes. You shall be called Mike. Um, no, not again. Um, focus now, Orby. Orby? Exactly, Orby. <sighs> Come on, we do not have a lot of time. Time, time. What a sad little construct this universe has created. Time, but we have the means to overpower it. Do we not? What do you mean, we? Right then. New name, new identity. I will plant you in the States United on the planet Earth in the land of Michigan. You shall be known as Smith. Jane, that's Smith with a Y. Not like the other Time Lord. That guy. Can we just hurry up, please? On Earth, I will establish you as a diner waitress. Many of the character traits you possess will remain, including your accent. However, you will not recall any of your Time Lady status or position until such time as you possess and open your fob watch. Are you willing to part with this identity? Yes, I'm willing. Is there anyone present who can assist you once you have had your memory removed? Yes, me. I'm right here. You were just talking No to need me. to get sassy. Yes, there is a need. I am the sasser. I am her sasser. I sass so that she doesn't have to. Thanks for that. You're welcome. So can we get on with it now? Romana. Romana. Place your hands atop the center. Close your eyes. Romana? Romana, are you okay? Do I know you? I'm sorry, Jane? Jane Smith? Yes, that's, that's me. I'm Jane Smith. Let's get you on your way. I'm sorry, my, my name is Susan. I'm here to help you. Um, Susan, I like you. Yes. Um, this is different. Susan in control. I am going to need that robe back. Uh. That's fine. That's fine. That's just... Highly ceremonial, symbolic symbol of. Okay, well. <clears throat> Alright. So this is. This is goodbye then. Be safe. Be well. God miss you. Are we friends? The best of friends. You just don't know it yet. Thing. Here, I um, I need you to do the same thing that you just did with You Roma. want to be Jane? Um, let's see. Smith. No, no, I don't yes. want to be Jane Smith. Smith. Of course not. That's it. I, anything Jane Smith. Um, I just, I need... <sighs> okay, so they're coming, and and I let a prisoner escape, and she was innocent, and I really need you to do this thing, okay? Is there anyone present to assist you once the transition is complete? Yes! someone present right here right now with me well okay then one fast action transition coming up oh. Oh. what the hell just happened oh what am i wearing oh, oh. susan 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 who's who's susan my susan oh 
You mean you've gone through the transition? Well, who are you now? You know, I don't know that yet. But really, who's any of us? I mean, isn't that what we're all trying to find out? Is, is who we are? No philosophy now. What about Romana and the key of time? Romana? Key of time? I mean, that sounds exciting. But you mean you let her escape? You, you helped the prisoner escape? The president is on the run! Oh, the, this is rich! The Ronnie's luck has come at last! It's like my birthday. Right, well, um, happy birthday. You don't seem the friendly sort. So, uh, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm going, I'm going. had direct communication with a figure they knew as... Damn it, I want to take that line again. <laughs> okay. They known as... Yeah. I just, we'll just keep rolling, it's fine. Um, can we get your line again? Doctor! <gasps> okay, we got somebody on... <sighs> Still out back yet, huh? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. But... Oh, hello. Is that... Is that the fool again? Or... The doctor? Susan? No. It's you! Oh, thank goodness! I was... I was hoping you'd show up. I, you're just the person I need. That's right. I'm still trapped in the cell at Gallifrey, and I have to get out of here before Rassilon and his great big ego destroys the universe with the time key. Please. You're the only one that can help. Subscribe. Just right there. Please. is rich. The Ronnie's luck has come at last. It's like